Dear friends in Christ, we are welcome back to the I Believe series. Last week we gave a summary of uh, the first article of the Creed, that is, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. In this week we continue with the second article of the Creed, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. That is to say, I believe in God, the first article, second article, and I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. In this second article of the Creed, there are four key words. One, Jesus. Two, Christ. Four, only Son. And then, four, our Lord. These key words are very much important. And so, for today, we shall be discussing the first of these four words, that is, Jesus. The name Jesus means God saves. We see this in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. He shall be called Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. This is a continuation of what we talked of in the first article of the Creed, where we talked of God as the God of deliverance, the God who delivers, the God who saves. And so Jesus has come to save us from our sins. From this, we see the identity and the mission of Jesus. As God, His word is to save His people from their sins. That is who He, he is, the Savior. That is His identity. That is His mission. And because it is His identity and mission, He lived up to that. In everything that He did, while on earth, they were all geared towards salvation towards saving us from our sins. And so in this time and in these days, in this moment, in this century, in our understanding, people give names, different names to their children. For whatever reason, they give whatever name they want to give. Then, but names, they carry our identity, they carry our mission. As we see in the case of the second article of the creed, Jesus, God saves, for he will save his people from their sins. So what name are you giving? And what is the reason behind the name you are giving? And for you, as an individual, what is your identity? What is your mission? As a Christian, what is your identity? What is your mission? Jesus lived up to his expectation. He followed his identity. He accomplished his mission. Are you living in line with your identity as a Christian? Are you making effort to accomplish your mission? And so, through the prayers of St. Peter Davis, the Almighty God help us to accomplish our mission, first and foremost, to identify our mission and then to accomplish our mission in life through Christ our Lord.